this video, I want to let you know guys about a very interesting new series of courses by CG Cookie, which includes 9 courses by different 3D instructors. And these courses cover everything, from 3D modeling, sculpting, texturing, rigging, animation, lighting, and compositing. You can get these courses individually, or you can get a bundle which is a steal. Without further ado, let's jump right into the details. In Fundamentals of Animation, you will dive into the basics of animation in Blender. Animation can be tricky, especially when you are just starting out with keyframes or trying to figure out the timeline. So this course is designed to cut through the confusion, giving you a solid foundation that you can build on. And to be honest, this can be a great start. You will start by learning how frame rates affect your animation flow. Then jump into Blender's timeline, keyframes, and moving, rotating, and scaling objects. You will also dive into the graph editor and armatures for character animation. And by the time you have completed the course, you should have acquired enough essential skills to confidently, I think, animate inside Blender. And now that you've got a good ground or understanding of the fundamentals of animation, you can take things a step further. I mean, I'm talking about rigging the foundation that makes character movement possible. So, in Core Fundamentals of Rigging with Wayne Dixon, you will learn essential rigging skills, making the process simple and approachable. So, in this course, rigging is breaking down to steps that can help it make it easier for you, even for complete beginners. So, you will learn how to create the deformation structure and controls that allow your 3D models to move, starting with basics like bone tools, weight painting, and the armature modifier, then progressing to more advanced topics like bone constraints, custom properties, and drivers. The course also covers space types and good versus bad rigging practices, and other kinds of tips and tricks that can help you through the project. Next up is a very interesting one with fundamentals of sculpting, with the instructor Ken Trammell, who is famous in the Blender community, and he will introduce you to a more intuitive and artistic approach to 3D modeling using Blender sculpting tools. Unlike mesh modeling, which can feel like more technical, sculpting is like working with digital clay, allowing you to form shapes with creative, and I would also say, more creative freedom. From what I can see, the training starts with the basics of sculpt mode, where you will learn how to use brushes and essential tools. You will also explore advanced techniques like posing your sculptures and adding color to your models. Another part of the course is understanding Blender's three sculpting systems, multi-res, voxel remesh, and dynamic topology, and when to use each. And as the course progresses, you will apply these techniques to create a stylized shark character, which helps you put your hands on a project and gain some experience. And upon completing this training, you will have a strong grasp, hopefully, on Blender's sculpting capabilities and start feeling confident to create your own projects. Because honestly, it is not that hard. And since we just touched upon mesh modeling, let's talk about this course called Fundamentals of Mesh Modeling with the instructor Jonathan Lampel. This course has been refined over the last 10 years and has taught thousands of people the essentials of 3D modeling inside Blender. So I think whether you are trying to be a game developer, an animator, or work in visual effects, or even architecture, these fundamentals are going to be very important to you. And you will have to start learning them anyway. So you will start with the basics, including selection tools, mesh operations, mesh operators, and good topology. Then, you move into hard surface modeling using modifiers and guns and custom normals. And finally, you will explore sub -D surface modeling to create those smooth and detailed shapes that all of us want to create. And after this, I think you will be having an easier time modeling basic objects and you will have a solid understanding approaching and tackling complex shapes after knowing the fundamentals of mesh modeling inside Blender. In the Fundamental Material and Shading course, you will dive into the basics of Blender shader nodes. And from what I can see, you can learn the difference between shaders and materials, and how to assign materials to your models. This course is gonna be great for beginners who wanna understand how to work with materials and shaders inside Blender, which determines how an object interacts with light, giving it properties of color, texture, and reflectivity, for example. You will also get to explore EV next 
and learn its limitation and how to work around them, including tips on getting up materials like glass, subsurface scattering, or volumes to make them look great in EV. Lastly, the course covers key rendering features, helping you understand the settings you will need for getting a good render and how to use light path nodes effectively. Also from Ava, the instructor of the previous course, we have fundamentals of texturing. Texturing is essential for adding realistic details to models, making them feel complete and interesting. And in this course, you will learn the basics of texturing, including how to unwrap objects for efficient UV unwrapping. And you will explore the entire texturing workflow, from prepping models for texturing to working with image textures, in addition to procedural textures and texture painting. The course also covers how to add extra details using normal maps, in addition to adaptive sampling and true displacement, as well as the best file types for specific textures. And by the end of this one, hopefully you will know how to bake everything into one cohesive set of PBR textures and pack them for various rendering engines. And I personally think this is gonna be a great start if you wanna learn texturing inside Blender. Next is the fundamentals of compositing with Sean Kennedy. Have you ever finished a render and realized the color of your main object was kind of off? And that's where compositing shines. It allows you to adjust colors, materials, shadows, reflections, and lighting even after rendering, which can give you a great flexibility and can save you a lot of time. So in this course, you will learn the basics of compositing and how to organize your 3D scenes for better post-production work. And you will also discover how to rebuild your 3D scenes into 2D, combining rendered elements for easy adjustments. And from what I can see, the course also includes lessons on creating post effects like depth of field and motion blur, which can enhance your scenes. In addition, you will learn how to use alpha channels, green screens, and laser blast effects to add exciting elements to your projects. Generally speaking, the course is ideal for anyone wanting to enhance their rendering workflow and get great looking renderers at the end. In addition to compositing, lighting is arguably the most crucial aspect of any render because it can make or break hours of hard work, if done well or poorly. So in this course by Kaizen, you will learn the fundamentals of lighting, starting with knowing the key differences between cycles and EV engines. And depending on your preferred engine, you will get a deep dive into how lighting functions within that specific environment and how to get better results no matter what you are using. You will also explore how to take inspiration from real-world lighting that you can apply in your scenes, using professional techniques that have been trusted for decades. And in this course, you will have the skills to enhance your renders by mastering lighting, ensuring that your hard work will always shine. Last but not least, there is the Fundamentals of Physics course by Kenny Phases. And in this one, you will explore Blender's powerful physics simulation tools, from soft and rigid body dynamics to fluid and fire simulations, so you can bring your renders to the next level. This course begins with the basics of Blender's physics system, focusing on rigid body physics, where you will learn how to simulate realistic collisions, in addition to managing passive and active objects and control surface responses. You will also dive into soft body and cloth simulations, learning how to manage their dynamics and controlling and tweaking the settings to achieve a realistic behavior. In the fluid part, you will also learn how to create, well, fluids, like fire, smoke, and so on, in addition to their animation as well as realistic modern bodies. In addition, you will explore the particle system, dynamic paint, and how to create force fields to enhance your scenes and animations, in addition to many, many other stuff. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these courses by CG Cookie, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.